here so there is no need to go again all that and they are explaining again about this you know this is called tail of the letter when you write the complete by independent shape so both of these hooks in both sides this is also called tail of the letter and one thing also to remember that in all these three letters there is a core of the letter main core main part of the letter it will stay same in all four positions like in ba you have uh, this shape and then one nukta in the medial position also same one nukta so this is the core of the letter and it will uh, remain same so, and for those brothers or any sister who are learning very first time so you need to do a very good practice of writing and how to make practice they have this shape in your book so you will see uh, the three uh, the lines are provided this is space so first you know take a pencil and trace this letter with the pencil several times and it will be again this shape first i draw imagine a line always for writing arabic so that your letter should be straight and you will start on the top of the line you will make the hook and then it will be a flat line and then you will bring it again a second hook over here and this is by the way the first step of writing any letter that you will make a you know a skeleton the second step will be putting a nukta right here okay so that's why you will see an arrow they have made a arrow also that you are writing and this arrow is going in this shape and this, this shape and it completed the letter over here and this is you will see number 2 over here and this is number 1 so number 1 was the structure of the letter and number 2 step was a nukta so always put the dots or the nukta as the second step this is sentence on page 22 mm -hmm. arabic sentence yes and are we supposed to write like that no you are not supposed to because it's a very beginning level uh, in this stage no i mean just follow the rule the basic rule. yes you can write it you can write it but you remember last time i asked the question that it was like a puzzle to solve the puzzle that how many alifs are there in that line so do you remember the number of those alifs 13 13, 13 yes <laughs> by the way because he asked this question about this line this line was taken uh, arabic story book and it's very famous uh, 1001 nights Hmm? and it is called alif laila wa laila <laughs> alif laila you know we call it alif, alif laila so it is actually alif laila means 1000 nights okay so um, it's a legendary book it has so many stories and all that so this line was taken from that book and this line translate the meaning of that that in the old time once upon a time as we start the story in english once upon a time there was a merchant a tajir a business man okay fi qadim zaman kana tajir kaseer al mal wal amal so he was a very wealthy person he had lot of wealth and a lot of business amal is business amal is business so Uh, the the meaning of this line is that that once upon a time there was a tajir or merchant and he was very wealthy person lot of wealth and lot of uh, business okay so we move on to the next page page number 24 arba wa ishreen okay on the uh, top of this uh, page number 24 you will see the first paragraph it talks about the initial position of ba so nothing is new uh, you can read yourself and you will find about the initial position of ba okay and i also would like to advise you that always read ahead of the class new lesson <coughs> and then ask me the questions if you have <coughs> so then we can clarify that and we will move forward but again for those who are learning very first time you have the space in your book two two lines 
सो कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑफ द इनिशियल पोजिशन ऑफ ब कीप राइटिंग ऑल दो लाइन कीप राइटिंग लाइक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स इफ यू विल राइट दिस यू विल बी मास्टर यू विल ब्रिंग द परफेक्शन राइटिंग बिकॉज अवर स्किल लाइक वी हैव फोर स्किल्स ऑफ दिस क्लास राइटिंग अरबिक रीडिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड स्पीकिंग सो फॉर राइटिंग पार्ट यू हैव टू राइट अ लॉट अ लॉट नाउ द सेकेंड पैराग्राफ यू विल सी इन द बुक एंड इट्स टॉक्स अबाउट बा एंड अलिफ सो वट दे आर टीचिंग वर हियर दैट नाउ यू स्टार्ट कनेक्टिंग द लेटर्स कनेक्टिंग टू लेटर्स सो यू आर कनेक्टिंग एंड ज्वाइनिंग टू लेटर्स बा एंड अलिफ सो बा बेसिकली इफ यू ब्रेक इट डाउन इट इज बा प्लस अलिफ एंड यू शुड लर्न नाउ हाउ टू ज्वाइन दैम सो यू विल यूज द इनिशियल पोजिशन ऑफ बा एंड द फाइनल पोजिशन ऑफ अलिफ So you learned how to join ba and alif, right? Okay. So question. Yes. So why do we call alif is a non-connecting in that respect? Because you are joining it, so you're connecting with ba. So yes, you... we already spoke about that. Okay. We uh, say non-connecting because it is not connected with the following okay. letter. Okay. okay. So in order to differentiate between these two shapes of uh, two types of the letters, we call it non-connecting. But non-connecting is also be connected with the previous letter. It could be called one-way connectors. Yeah, one-way connected. Right. Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, please uh, look at this second paragraph with me because it is very important part. This is our beginning of writing, right? Now write the first two letters of the alphabet joined together, ba and alif ba. Do not pick up the pen to cross the ba. what does it mean that when you are writing ba so you start writing from here and you have to put one nukta to cross the ba but do not pick up the uh, pen until you complete the skeleton of ba then the second step will be the nukta until you have finished writing the alif joined to it copy the example and pronounce it aloud yes one more advice is very important and you make a note of that write it down but always follow this direction or this instruction whenever you are writing any arabic word always say it pronounce it there must be a connection between the sound and the shape sound and the shape this connection is very important whether you have to say it couple of times three times four times but always if you are writing ba so when you are writing do not be silent do not be quiet saying also keep saying ba ba it is very important and this will help you to read arabic okay so we are getting two skills at the same time writing arabic and reading arabic then when you go to the third paragraph it uh, will give you the medial position of ba right so uh, you already um, have seen over here how to write it then go to the next page the first paragraph it is about the final shape of ba and we learned over here this one now the good news is that go to the next paragraph now you can write your first word in arabic <coughs> right so today we are learning the very first word in arabic i would like to call upon one brother over here who is learning arabic very first time never learned any alif ba before come over here i volunteer yourself we have learned urdu i mean basically no so you are you are not qualified for that <laughs> <laughs> i am urdu thing we all do break very first time that you learned alif ba only from this class okay what okay please pay attention now uh, what we are going to see over here that i am giving him three letters separately ba plus alif plus ba your work is to join them 
and think that which uh, initial position of the letter, medial position or final, it's up to you or independent. <laughs> yeah, I can submit one word as the next word. Okay. Join them. Very good, very good. Good job. Now, what was the word? How do you read it? Let him read, let him read. Yes. Ba. 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 Yes, very good. Ba. Ba. So, that was the advice that while you are reading, I mean you are writing, you keep reading also. Okay? Yes. <laughs> so, next time you will do it. But mashallah, you did a good job. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can push this a little bit so that I think that guy is training to see. Which guy? You I'm see it properly. Can okay. you see properly? Yeah. Okay. okay. Or maybe you can change your seat, your spot. If you can come over, we mm. have some empty chairs over here. Yeah. So. You're fine? Maybe you can move a little bit. There's some work Yes, in Alif Lam. Yes, yes. The reason for that is in your name that is called Alif Lam. Al. Al is a definite article. And it's same as the in English or the. So we will learn about that. Where to pronounce it, where not to pronounce it. Okay? So you learn the very first word in Arabic? <laughs> ba, very good, mashallah. You can see this word also. And again, read the paragraph. Someone read the last paragraph and it's the same advice that I was giving you about connection between sound and the shape. Hmm? So... Please read that last paragraph on page number. As you work yes. through this book, okay. remember to pronounce the word and expressions you write out loud. Uh, uh, sorry, write out loud mm. as you write them, mm. preferably more than once. Mm. Develop the habit of writing and saying word out loud mm. and some intensely, mm. other than writing silently. Mm. This no. practice helps yes. to reinforce the connection between sound and shape, to build reading skills and to memorize vocabulary faster. To memorize vocabulary faster. So, Brother Shuja, next yeah. time when you write, you say out loud. Inshallah. <laughs> Very good. Now, please move forward, go to the next page. Nahnu fi safha raqam 26. So, this letter is ta. Hmm? Okay. Uh, we already learned about writing of ta and all four shapes of ta. Now we will talk about the pronunciation of ta. And imagine that this book has been designed for those people especially who do not know anything about Arabic, right? So they are explaining how to pronounce the letter ta if you are associate, associating with the English language and the English letter t. Okay. We have two ways of pronouncing of letter T in English. If we are speaking our English words, so one word for example we say bottle hmm? and one word we say teeth. So you know realize the difference between the word teeth when you say teeth and when you say bottle. When we say bottle our uh, tongue is flapping over in the mouth. But when we say teeth, it is very straight sound of T and it is coming from the back of our teeth. Okay. So this is the pronunciation of uh, Ta. Now from our Arabic point of view, I am also distributing today these notes about the uh, Brother Tambir. Can you give me some more copies, inshallah? How many you believe? 
Three. Okay. Uh, you you have this. Okay. Open open this these notes and go on page number three. Page number three D section. The very last section on page number three. Can I have one copy as well? Hmm. Or the original? Okay, read this uh, uh, section. It's only one line. That <coughs> the tongue uh -huh. and the roots of the upper incisor teeth, teeth is the muffers of the ta, ta, ta. Yes. And I'm uh, giving you this because we are also learning for the Quran. Right? And our Quranic way is more easier than the whole way that they explained it. But it's the same thing. <coughs> okay. The makhraj of ta or the pronunciation of the letter ta is the tip of your tongue and the root of upper incisor teeth. We have incisor teeth <coughs> upper and down. So go to the back of the upper incisor teeth and look for the root. Root is the place where the gums they are meeting with the teeth. Okay? So say ta. Ta. Another easy way always to know the place of pronunciation for any Arabic letter that you bring hamza sound before that. A sound. Now say at. 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 And you will feel that the tip of the tongue is hitting the root of your upper teeth. Yes. So this is the, this is called in Arabic makhraj. And makhraj means the, the place of the pronunciation. Hmm? The place of the pronunciation. Where the letter is coming from in your mouth. So... Bring these notes always with you and inshallah we will uh, combine the pronunciation of the Arabic letters with the Quranic way. Okay, so can someone read this paragraph please for me, maybe Hunter, read this first paragraph on page number 26 about the, the third letter. American speakers pronounce the teeth and teeth forward in the mouth against the back of the teeth. This is the correct position of the tongue to leave the flat of the tongue being used to produce auto and automatic for the pronunciation of this <coughs> flap of the tongue uh, of this auto big sound. Auto big da is pronounced for the tip of the tongue against the teeth without aspiration. Since da is a frontal letter, this vowel sound sounds around the ear of frontal to particularly the alif sounds like e as in bet and not u like u in top. Okay, very good. Towards the end of the paragraph, they told us two more things. One thing is that that ta is also uh, lends the frontal quality of alif. Like the non-emphatic letter. So as we learned about ba, it will be the same sound as ta. One more important thing that in Arabic letters there is no aspiration we need to learn about the aspiration. Aspiration is the breathy sound that we make when we pronounce our English letters, especially the letter K, P, T, say Tom, Peter, Kirk, went to the town. So all these times, if you are pronouncing these three letters, lit a match or a lighter, put it in the front of your mouth or a candle, lit candle and you say Kirk, Peter, Tom, you will see that the flame of uh, the fire, it will be flicker, right? But if you are pronouncing the letter Ta, there should be no flicker of the flame. That is called aspiration. Okay? You will say At, 
at and the sound is finished right away not at okay so this is called aspiration and they have uh, uh, you know written down in the as a footnote also so hunter if you can foot if you can you know read that footnote towards the bottom of the page aspiration refers to the breathing sound of the term with t t and k let a match hold it in front of your mouth and say peter tom and kirk went to town the plan will flicker each time you pronounce one of these words all rabbic sounds and other aspirations of practicing t and k with a lit match in front of your mouth until you pronounce them without making the plan flicker okay but the letter ha hmm. you're like Ha. Yeah, so that, that has the raspy sound, uh, breathy sound, but not like uh, in the letter ta or is a different because that is coming from your throat. Okay, so then we have a few words over here. They are written with ta, and you can again listen to these words in your DVD. This is a listening exercise, but we can do one more time over here. Repeat after me. The number one is ta. So this is the name of the letter ta, as we had ba. Then the second is ba. The third is tu ta. Number fourth is watat. Number fifth is bint. And number six is shita. Shita is winter time, winter season, and Bint is a girl or a daughter. Watad is uh, like pin or nail or the the peg, the the heavy nail that we use for uh, camping. When you go for camping out, you use the peg uh, that is called watad. And Tuta is. Uh, um, they just made this word uh, for practicing of the letter ta. <laughs> but uh, in Urdu is different, but in Arabic means like overnight. Uh, something like you spend the whole night that is called bath. Okay. Tooth, tooth doesn't mean strawberry. <laughs> that is tooth, yes, without a leaf. Without a leaf, that is tooth. That is coming. Okay. Now the second paragraph is about writing ta. Hmm? And writing ta, we already learned over here. Uh, writing ta, so it's the same information, same thing. But one thing about the nukta of the ta, it is very important, very crucial to learn for Arabic letters. When we write the letter ta, there are two ways to put the nukta and these two ways are the print version and the handwriting version that is called script version. Hand write, uh, the print version that you put the two nukta separately. This is the normal way that you do. But inshallah when you will be mastering of writing Arabic, you are writing letters by handwriting, then you can use these two nukta as the horizontal bar very short bar like that okay so this shape of that uh, horizontal bar will represent the two nukta of ta okay <coughs> and same thing we will learn in the letter sa also when we uh, go to that letter so this is a new information only about the two shapes of the nukta one is print version, one is script version and rest of the things are same. Now go to the next page that is page number 27. On page number 27 it's a drill for the dictation, right? So it's a very first drill in this book about the dictation and we will keep seeing uh, these drills for the dictation because you need to learn how to write Arabic without copying, right? Without looking. And these uh, the, are six words in Arabic. And if I tell you now, are you able to write them? Just try. Dictation. 
and by the way this dictation will be from only three letters alif ba and ta because we we learned only three letters so far right so there will be no any other letter but your job is to think the initial position the medial the final and the independent and do not forget to pronounce it sound and shape connection okay so our first word is the same the name of the letter this ba hmm. ba and the second word is tab tab and pay attention to the vowel length i am stretching it tab it means as a long vowel okay did you write tab yeah okay. third is ba ta ba then ta it is a meaningful word this is a verb ba ta with both alif it means like two people uh, they spend the night working somewhere that is ba ta it is a verb okay but right now your concern just to writing number 4 is ta ba ta ba it means two people they made the repentance tauba right yeah. so then you say ta ba so dual so it's plural or dual 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 yes ta ba ta ba hmm it's called tasniya yeah it's called tasniya yes dual is called tasniya or musanna yes in arabic and singular will be ta ta ba only ta alif and ba not not alif in the and if you remember uh, last week we had that singular word tab hmm. okay next word will be bab that we just learned today about the door hmm. and the sixth one will be bat bat okay now we will tell your dictation Okay, volunteer yourself. One brother, Babur Khan, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how did you write? Acha, acha. Okay. I need a razor, please. Uh, that dust, you know. Come on, quickly. Yes, we can use. Okay, how did you write the word taba? Taba. Keep saying it. No. Taba. That was the fourth number word. Okay. Uh -huh. Did everyone write like that? Uh -huh. Yes. It means everyone good, and you are good. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. If you wrote it like that, that means you can mark it. You can check yourself. Yes, आप आइए. Yes, yeah. Okay. Write the word tab. Okay. Very good. His writing is completely okay. But now the nukta in Arabic, you have only two options. Okay. Do you remember? Yeah. Ah. Either, uh, that this, bar, uh, yes, this or, or the bar. Yes, bar. Yes, very good. It's came came from Urdu. Uh, yes. <laughs> no more Urdu now. <laughs> no more Urdu. Less Urdu. Yes, less Urdu. Less Urdu. <laughs> okay. Another brother, Inshallah. आप आएं. Try करें. Okay. You are going to write the word bat. the word bath very good very good so everyone wrote it like that yeah. mm -hmm. good now <coughs> you want to come here come on write the word bata 
That was the number third, number three. Ba ta. Very good job, mashallah. Perfect. So everyone did like that? So the only one was remaining and that was the first one. Ba. Since you did not uh, learn about Hamza yet, so just forget about Hamza, you just write only <coughs> So move on. So this is the way that you practice your dictation. And you have all the dictation words in your DVD. So listen to DVD, write yourself without looking at the book. Okay. Then uh, you can check yourself or you can show it to me. And inshallah I will look at them that how did you write the words. So after that we will move to the letter ta okay uh, no ta yes okay so this information the first paragraph is the same thing that we already discussed the pronunciation of ta it's like th in three nothing new so go and uh, repeat after me on page number 28 page number 28 and these words they all have the letter tha so say the letter tha. tha. Then tha bit. The third one is tath but. Tath but. Fourth is athath. athath. Number fifth is bath. 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 And the meaning of uh, tha bit, the second one is anything that is firm.